本日は日本国際問題。Good afternoon. Thank you for joining with us at this the JIIA webinar on the essence of the Takeshima Island issue and flaws of the Korean argument about Takeshima. I serve as MC for the J. My name is Nagase. I'm a director of research coordination. Today we have with us Professor. Masao Shimojo, Professor Emeritus of Jakushoku University. He is going to share with us his observation and the thoughts on the issue that is the title of this seminar. And before starting his lecture, I'd like to invite Director General Tomiko Ichikawa to give us the greetings. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the webinar on the essence of the Takeshima Island issue and flaws with the Korean argument about Takeshima. On behalf of JIIA, the organizer of this webinar, I'd like to say a few words at the outset. At the Institute, and since 2017, territory, the sovereign right and history started to be focused on in the program that started in that year by way of organizing various symposium as well as programs. At this webinar today, we have with us Professor Emeritus and visiting prof uh, Professor Emeritus of Takashoku University and Professor, the visiting professor of Shimane Prefectural University, Masao Shimojo is with us. He has been studying Takeshima issue over many years and since 2005, he has been serving as a chair of the study group sponsored by Shimane Prefecture on Takeshima issue, and he authored many books on Takeshima. Today, he is going to introduce the the flaws in the argument made by Korea on Takeshima based upon the studies on the the, the books and the maps. And through this webinar, hope that uh, you would uh, deepen your understanding about Takeshima issue. And on the part of Professor Shimojima, as a part of the project of JIIA Takeshima Island, as well as the Japan Sea and Senkaku Island, among others, are the areas where he contributes articles to. And they are carried on the website of JIIA. If you have not uh, access to uh, that uh, contributed articles, help that you will take a look at those articles. This concludes my opening remarks, and thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we would now like to hear from Professor Masao Shimojo, who is Professor Emeritus at Takshuku University, as well as visiting professor at the University of Shimane. And part one will it be referring to the Korean logic claiming Takeshima is Korean territory. And the second part will take up uh, Kim Tae-jong's map of Korea, as well as uh, Danville's uh, map of Korea and uh, make a rebuttal. And uh, uh, at the end, uh, we would like to entertain your questions and therefore kindly use the Q&A function, which is on the lower part of the screen. Professor Shimojo, please. Good afternoon, and I am Shimojo, and I would like to give you an outline of the Takeshima dispute. And uh, when you talk about the Takeshima issue, uh, many people, I think, uh, think of fisheries issues. And uh, that is uh, because in 1994, the UN Convention on the Law of the Seas took effect and Japan and Korea concluded the Japan-Korea Fisheries Agreement and they had to delineate the exclusive economic zone. And in February of 1996, the uh, Korean government announced that uh, uh, it would be building a uh, birthing facilities in Takeshima, as, as I indicated, and the Japanese government launched a protest, and that has uh, developed into this uh, dispute over Takeshima that we have now. However, in terms of historical fact, Takeshima in January of 1905 became Japanese territory, 
and it became uh, the under the jurisdiction of Shimone Prefecture's Oki Island branch office. However, in January 1952, uh, the uh, defeated nation, uh, with the uh, taking effect of the San Francisco Peace Treaty, three months before Japan uh, returned to the international community, the Korean government uh, set the Singman Re line, as you see here, in the high seas. And uh, at that time, the Korean government, they declared the Singman Re line for a reason. And uh, from uh, 1910 to 1945, uh, Japan had uh, Korea as a colony and uh, Korea became independent. And between Japan and Korea, uh, the talks to normalize diplomatic relations started. And uh, on the Korean side, they were pressing issues. One of them is that uh, they were left on the Korean Peninsula, Japanese assets, uh, which was about uh, $5.2 billion worth and uh, the property claim to these assets and the other is uh, after uh, August 1945, there were many illegal entrants uh, from the Korean Peninsula in Japan and uh, the treatment of these people had to be considered. And uh, so up until the normalization of ties until 1965, uh, the, these uh, illegal entrants numbered approximately 70,000, just the numbers uh, who were exposed. And on the Korean side, with regards to the personal individual assets of the Japanese, they refused that the Japanese side take them out. And they also did not uh, uh, want the return of the illegal entrance due to the domestic situation. And in uh, December, 1953, the resource protection law was uh, set. And that meant that uh, they, capture and uh, detain uh, the Japanese uh, vessels, which crossed the line, uh, Singman Re line. And also uh, in exchange for the release of the crew, uh, they uh, asked the Japanese government to uh, give up the property claim and also uh, have uh, the legal entrance uh, uh, be given legal status in Japan. And the Japanese government in September of 1954, uh, referred this to the international, uh, tried to refer this to the International Court of Justice and uh, made a proposal to the Korean side. But the Korean government said that uh, Takashima is uh, the first to fall a victim uh, to the Japanese invasion of uh, Korea and they refused. And so the understanding of uh, history on the Korean side as uh, uh, Japan as an aggressive state has uh, continued to have a big impact on the bilateral relations. In June of 1965, the Treaty on Basic Relations was uh, concluded and uh, the uh, diplomatic relations were normalized, but this was in exchange for the Japanese vessel's crew. So it was uh, hostage diplomacy. And uh, the Japanese government uh, gave up the $5.2 billion of uh, property claim, and uh, they gave uh, legal status to the illegal entrants in Japan. Now, uh, between uh, Japan and Korea, which had normalized ties, there was a uh, Takeshima problem, and also the understanding of history on the Japanese side of Japan as an aggressive state. And uh, these are issues that uh, both sides need to overcome because on the Korean side, uh, they don't have the historic title to or evidence to assert uh, the uh, sovereignty over Takeshima, but they are continuing to illegally occupy the island. And uh, that being the case, what is it that the Korean side is asserting? Uh, there is the book called Samgoku Sagi, which is the history of the three kingdoms. And uh, in the 13th year of Chisho, uh, it, it is indicated that from the sixth century, Takeshima is uh, Korean territory. And what does that mean? Um, this is Samgoku Sagi. And uh, you have uh, this uh, uh, passage where it says uh, that uh, Takeshima is included in uh, Usanguk. 
and this Usanguk. Uh, if it was the territory of Silla, naturally Takeshima would be a Korean territory. That's the logic. And uh, the ground for this is what you see here. Um, and this is the Dongguk Munhyeon Bigo. And it was uh, established in 1770. And in the annotation, uh, which is separate, uh, you see that uh, uh, Utsuryo and Usan are the land of Usanguk. And uh, Usan Island is uh, what the Japanese called uh, Matsushima, in other words. Uh, these uh, islands are the territory of Usanguk, and Usan is uh, Matsushima, uh, that is uh, the name in the Edo uh, period, uh, the name of Takeshima in the Edo period. And so uh, it is the Usanguk uh, uh, land, and uh, that is Matsushima in of Japan. And so that's what is uh, written in the sentence. But uh, in Dunguk Munhyeon Bigo, there is the original text of the geographic uh, uh, record that is uh, cited. And uh, what is it's indicated that uh, they are one and the same, Usan and Utsuryo are one and the same island. But in other words, they are the same island is what is being indicated here. And as a result, what does that mean, Usan Island? Uh, Korean side saying that this is Dokdo and Takeshima, their uh, grounds in the compilation of Dongguk Munhyeon Bigo was rewritten. And so the problem is uh, why was it rewritten? And uh, that is what uh, appears next as the issue. And as a historical fact, that is about 330 years ago, that is in 1693, the fishery right was granted by Edo government to fishermen of Otani family of Totori, Totori clan in to fish in Utsuryu or Ululun Island. And there they found out that the Korean fishers were conducting fishery using the fishing gears of Otani family. Therefore, the fishermen of Otani family consider that as uh, the, the boundary of violation and uh, they brought with them An Lampok and Pak Odun and and then made a report to Totori clan. And then the Totori clan reported that uh, uh, boundary violation uh, to Edo uh, government. And then the government uh, ordered to Shima clan uh, to uh, stage a protest against the Korean government. And back then uh, the Ulilu Island was a vacant and that is because uh, the long before that, there used to be the pirates uh, from Japan uh, that was rampant in Japan Sea. And uh, the, therefore, all the, uh, the residents on the island were moved from the island. That is why. And then uh, the Tsushima clan reported that Ululun Island historically belonged to Korea. And thus, Edo government banned traveling to Ululu Island in January 19, uh, 1696, rather. But then five months ago, uh, five months later, rather, sorry, the Anyon Bok, together with his uh, colleagues, came to uh, visit uh, Totori clan illegally, say, saying that uh, they had a request to make. And that was reported to Edo government and the government then instructed Tsushima, a Totori clan rather, uh, to either to expel Anyonbok or uh, the, bring him to Tsushima clan. And eventually he was expelled by Totori clan. But once he came back to Korea, and then according to the investigation, he stated that he conducted negotiation with the Lord of Totori clan and 
They thus Ululu Island and Usan to or Takeshima finally became the territory of Korea. And because of his statement that was also included in the record of Korean kingdom, and in the process of uh, the Tokubunken Biko compilation, that statement was uh, used as a basis for stating that uh, Usan Island is Takeshima Odokto of Japan. But five months before uh, the illegal migration by Anlok Anyonbok, the Edo government banned traveling to Ululu Island and did not uh, refer to Usan Island. And you know, the Anyon Bok actually made a false statement that uh, he negotiated with the Lord Wototori Island and thus uh, the Ululun Island uh, became the territory of Korea. So it was only Anyon Bok uh, that stated that Usan Island uh, used to be uh, the Takeshima of Japan. And uh, after that, the Korean government conducted uh, the survey and they had an interest in Usan Island. And the investigation was uh, carried out by Park Sochan by the order in 1711. And he produced a map of Ululun Island. And that was reported back to Korean government. And according to that map, Takeshima, this island, which is currently the the the, uh, the the pending concern for both countries are not included, and Ululu Island is located uh, next to uh, Takeshima, small island, and that is described as so-called Usan Island. In other words, what was stated as Matsushima of Japan or Takeshima of Japan was this small island. The two kilometers east of Ululu Island. And then the question is why Anyon Book testified that the Usan Island is Matsushima of Japan. That was because when he was engaged in fishery in Ululu Island in 1693, he stated that he witnessed uh, the island that was uh, barely visible in uh, east north of Ululu Island. And he estimated that it would take about a day to travel to that uh, island. He said he witnessed that island twice. He asked his colleague about the name and he was told it is Usan Island. And Anyan Bok was transported to Japan. And he said after leaving Ululu Island, about a day later, he witnessed island that was larger than Lulu Island. And however, Poku Odun, who came together with Anyon Bok, stated such island did not exist. So it was only Anyon Bok that stated that that big island is Usan Island and that is Takeshima of Japan or Matsushima back then. So this is Ululun Island. And what he saw was around here. So this should be the area that he could see. And this is what is called the Chikusho or small island. And it is, the Takeshima is located east south of a little island and therefore this small island is completely different from where Takeshima Island is located. And compared to Ululun Island, Takeshima is far smaller. And the back then, the climate condition, when Anyon Bok witnessed uh, the that big island twice, the climate condition was extremely poor. And that was uh, proven by the field survey conducted by East Asia History Foundation of Korea. Because of dense fog, the, the, the visibility was quite poor. And according to Pak so -chan's Ululu Island map, the what is described as so-called Usan Island, that is a small uh, the islet uh, located near Ululu Island that is certainly located east-north of uh, the location where he was uh, the fishing and therefore 
the direction was completely different. The distance is also different. In other words, what Anyonbok called as Usan Island was not Takeshima. And then, uh, the, what is the origin of the name of Usan Island? The Usan Island uh, appeared in the antique map during Choson era as a part of the uh, eight province map. Uh, this is a map that I'm talking about. And here, between Korean Peninsula and Ululu Island, there is a island uh, about two thirds of the size of Ululu Island, and that is called Usan Island. And they some stated that uh, Usan and Ululu Island are actually the same island as in the case of the footnote in the revised uh, Chogoku Yochi Sholan. In other words, Usan Island and Ululu Island refers to the same island with different name. Usan Island was a kind of the phantom island that appears only in the literature and old map. Because of that, later on, Kim Jong-ho describes uh, Dae Dong Ji. Um, these are geographical uh, journals, and he uh, omits uh, Usan Island. It eliminates it, and in 1711, this phantom Usan Island, uh, through Park Sok Chan's Utsuro Island map, is indicated as uh, Jukto, which is uh, two kilometers east of Utsuro Island. And uh, so it, that means in 1882, under the orders of Kuo Jong of Korea, uh, EQ1. Uh, has uh, drawn an attached island in the map surrounding Utsuryo Island. The so-called Usan Island or Jukto, it, it is indicated as Jukto or Chikto, and uh, the Takeshima that uh, Korea occupies is not uh, drawn there. And in 1900, uh, Korea elevates uh, Utsuryo Island to Utsushima County and the administrative district of Utsushima County is based on Park Sok Chan's Utsuryo Island map. And in this county, Takashima is not included. And in 1905, in January, when Japan made Takashima Japanese territory, it uh, incorporated uh, Takashima as terra nullius. And uh, so you can see that uh, this background is the reason. Then what was called Mashima, Matsushima, why was it named Takeshima? Uh, that has to do with the map of Japan, which was uh, uh, made by Seabolt, von Seabolt. And in And this is a, a Seabolt map of Japan. And you see here, a location unknown, Argonaut Island, and it says Takeshima here. And then you have the present Utsuryo Island, Ululun Island, and it says uh, Dajule, and it was uh, indicated as Matsushima. And in 1849, a French whaling vessel, the Liancourt, discovers the present Takeshima. And so in the nautical charts, the Liankur rocks are added. And in the nautical uh, charts of 1860s, here, it says PD, 1870s, not the 1860s, sorry, 1870s. So it says here PD. And PD means location unknown, position doubtful, I think is what it stands for. So you have uh, Argonaut Island and Dajlet Island. And as you see here, the Yanku rocks are indicated. 
And in the chart of 1860s, you have these uh, three islands. And then in the 1870s, there is, well, new charts are made and Argonaut disappears and you have Matsushima and the Angkor rocks only. And in 1905, uh, Japan, when it makes uh, Liangkor rocks, Japan territory, on the nautical uh, charts, Utsuryoto, which had been called Takeshima in Edo period, uh, it was uh, um, the new island was made Japanese territory, and uh, that is the Liangkor rocks. And so the name of Takeshima was uh, given to the island, which uh, was the name of Utsuryo Island. And, uh, well, Takeshima uh, was uh, deemed to be uh, Korean territory by the Korean government uh, since the sixth century. But uh, without having the historical uh, title, they are continuing the illegal occupation. And uh, in recent years, the history uh, problem between Japan and Korea is having a negative influence on East Asian situation, and that being the case. In East Asia, in order to prevent confusion, the starting point of this uh, history of problem, uh, Takashima uh, issue, uh, needs to be urgently uh, resolved. And in March of 2005, uh, Shimane Prefectural Assembly uh, set uh, the Takeshima Day with an ordinance and uh, uh, asked uh, that uh, uh, the sovereignty be established. In other words, uh, this is a problem that started with uh, uh, the false uh, testimony of An Yongbok, one person. And so uh, both uh, Japan and Korea have to uh, use their wisdom to try to solve the problem. Otherwise, the emotional confrontation between the two countries will continue. Now, I'd like to continue on the Korean side. Well, in the overseas map, they say Usan Island is indicated. So. That means uh, that the other countries have admitted that Usan Island is uh, Korea's. And uh, uh, from Spain, uh, there's the Danville map, uh, but there was a problem there. And why is that? Historically speaking, Takeshima was not the Korean territory. And uh, that Takeshima, if uh, they continue to occupy it, then naturally Japan, the country concerned, is going to protest. And uh, the Korean side wants to justify its occupation of Takeshima. And they try to make a rebuttal saying that uh, it is in the antique maps of uh, overseas. And uh, it, then we have uh, Father Kim de Gon's uh, Chosun Chondo and Danville's uh, map of uh, Korea. And uh, uh, they use this because Usan Island is indicated in those maps. And if you look at the map, this is uh, Danville's map, and it says Tian Chan To, which is uh, Usan Island. And this is Kim Tegon's uh, map, and it says Usan Island, Usan. And however, uh, the Usan Island in literature and old maps of the Choson period, you have Utsuryo Island and the neighboring Ujukto, uh, not the Takeshima or Dokto. And that uh, Usan Island uh, deeming as Matsushima would uh, be looking at the false testimony of Anyanbok as uh, historical truth. 
but the, uh, the historical fact is left in the past history. Uh, after An Yongbok's incident, the, the Korean government wanted to uh, confirm the facts and they conducted surveys of Utsuryo Island. And uh, then you have Bok Sok John's Utsuryo Island map and what was uh, deemed as Usan Island was judged as the Usan Island that uh, An Yongbok uh, uh, viewed. And uh, this Utsuryo Island map, well, up until that time, this uh, phantom existence, Usan Island, was uh, uh, treated as a real island and was uh, established as uh, Jukdo near the Utsuryo Island. And uh, this uh, Utsuryo Island map with its experience, you have uh, the uh, Another Utsuryo Island map separate from the Sunjan Dongguk uh, Yuji Sungnam. So you have uh, these two maps uh, Father Kim's uh, map and uh, Danville's map of Korea. And uh, it becomes a hint when thinking about Usan Island. And uh, in terms of the time, uh, Danville's uh, map of Korea is in the, using as a basis uh, the old uh, uh, Korean uh, map uh, before the Utsuryo Island map. And uh, Father Kim's uh, Choson Chondo is using as a mid base map the map of uh, uh, entire uh, Korea uh, of uh, Bok Sok Chung. If you take a look at the, the map by Dunville, the Usan Island, is here. That is described as Shan Chan To. Sorry for the pronunciation. It is based upon the map that was produced originally by Xian Dynasty Emperor Kang Shi. And according to that imperial map, the east side of Korean Peninsula near Kang Won Do. And here is that map whether you can take a look at that, that. It appears that it is written as Senzanto Island. So this is the origin of this. And about this map that was created by the uh, Emperor Kanshi under the order by Kanshi, Regis, uh, the of the Societas Jesu, who was a uh, French, conducted triangulation in 1708 and completed this uh, the map, entire China's uh, map in 1718. But for Korean Peninsula, such triangulation was not conducted. This, it just referred to the, the existing Korean map. And in conjunction with that map, if you take a look at the history book that is called Sukuchon Record, according to the order uh, by the Ganshi, the emperor of Qin, Qin Dynasty, uh, the, the mission was sent to Korea demanding the submission of the map of Eastern Territory and uh, back then, uh, the map was already in the position of uh, the, the officials of Qin Dynasty, and they wanted to revise it. And they, that was actually the uh, Korean map that was uh, originated from uh, the East Country map, the, the newly revised Eastern map, Chogoku Yochi Sholan. And until the uh, Chen Sang-gi produced uh, the, the new map in mid 18th century, back then there were different versions of maps. Some described Usan Island as Shisan Island or Senzan Island and so on. So the, the, the morphology of that island is also similar to the one that is found in Danville's map and Danville's map refers to Chan Chan Tao that refers to uh, the Senzan Island in Imperial map. And that map is based upon 
the uh, Korean map that was produced earlier. And uh, in fact, uh, that is uh, the Phantom Island, uh, the Usan Island, that was considered as the same island as the the Ululu Island. In other words, it was not Dokto, but uh, the Usan Island being equal to Ululu Island, and therefore it was written as Usan Island, yet it was not Usan Island. And then, according to the map by Kim Tae-kun, uh, Tae the was Usan Island really Dokto as Korean side asserts According to the Korean Peninsula, Tonghe and Dokto in Western Antique Map produced by Northeastern Asian History Foundation, the purpose of producing a Korean map by Kim Tae Gun was for the purpose of uh, spreading Christianity uh, by uh, the fathers uh, of the Christianity from France and Korea. And the Kim Tae Gun uh, map is said to be the map that was copied based upon the uh, the Korean Church history map in Kroll Shol Dale. And ever since, according to the foundation, since 18th century, the in Jong Sang Gi's uh, map that started to be used widely, and the here is the entire island of, or entire map of Korean Peninsula and Usan Island that appears in the map is said to be Dokto according to Korean side. However, right. Uh, next to the right side of Ululu Island, Usan Island appeared for the first time when Ululu Island was produced by Pak Sochan in 1711 with the name as so called Usan Island. And ever since, Pak Sochan's Ulan Island was copied and included as a part of the uh, collection of maps and as copies were reproduced one after another, the so-called Usan Island became Usan Island, and that the Ululu Island map by the Pak so Chan is going to be included in the collection of maps produced by Chong sang -gi. When Chong sang -gi produced a map, as Usan Island of Tokoku Daichizu. It is based upon the Ululu Island map of Pax Sochan. In other words, it is Jukto uh, in the map of Chonsangi and not Dokto. Yet, based upon the Usan Island that is included in the Togoku map by Chonsangi, the Korean side states that it is uh, the uh, doctor, yet they never refer to Ululu Island by Pak Sok Chan. That is because once Chonsangi's map is originating from the map by Pak Sok Chan, and then the Usan Island that is uh, drawn next to Ululu Island would become Jigsaw. And therefore, they don't refer to this map that often. And the Usan Island in Korean map by Kim Tae Gun originates uh, from Usan Island in Tokoku map by Chon Sang Gi. And that comes from so called Usan Island in Pak, Pak So Chan's map. This is Kim, Father Kim Tegun's map, Ululu Island, next to Usan Island. It was actually the, the jigsaw, the small 
island two kilometers east of Ulubu Island. And that's the Kim Tegun's version and the Janville's version both refer to Usan and Chan Chan Tao, and both of them, or neither of them, were Tokcho or Takeshima. In other words, according to the antique uh, maps of Western countries, the Dokto was not considered as a territory of Korea. So far, I have presented uh, to you the evidence or the basis of uh, the position by Korea, but actually the maps and literatures that Korea use as a basis of their or the rationale, uh, they don't serve as the fact of uh, evidence. And yet such a simple issue of Takeshima Island was long and resolved uh, between Japan and Korea. In addition to emotional conflict, such, uh, the such emotional conflict uh, was uh, first uh, put forward and that the historical fact was not uh, referred to. But uh, I should say that uh, both countries should not uh, staying away from such historical issues in discussing ter territorial issues and start a constructive dialogue. With that, I'd like to conclude my presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Shimojo. So now we would like to start the Q&A. And uh, the ground of uh, the Korean side, the Tonggok uh, literature uh, being altered, that fact is uh, very shocking. And I think it is not admissible as uh, evidence. And how is the Korean side uh, responding? And if Professor uh, Shimojo were uh, having a discussion with the Korean side uh, researchers, uh, what was the uh, content of the discussion? Thank you. So with regards to this, yes, I, I am having a discussion with uh, the Korean side, but uh, where it's inconvenient, they don't uh, say anything. They remain silent. That's one characteristic. And so in that sense, I myself, even if I speak as an individual, I'm ignored by the Korean side in general. And so in that sense, uh, when having a discussion, uh, the, uh, argument, uh, it, it's very difficult as an individual in my view. Thank you, Professor Shimojo. Next question. Thank you for a very interesting presentation. Although you did not refer to that that much according to Korea, the Sekito or Ishijima Island is Takeshima or Dokto, which is within the jurisdiction of Ululu Island, according to the uh, ordinance in 1900. What can you say? I didn't have enough time to refer to that, but as I said earlier, the, as a background to that, Pak Sok Chan. Uh, his map was the basis and therefore it was not included to begin with. And according to Korean side, they dared to ignore it, this, but in Ululu Island, there are two small islands that belong to that. One of them is what is called Chikuto or Jikuto, and the other one is Sonmok that is located east north of Ululu Island or Kannon Island, according to Japan. And the the way the the the, uh, the Chinese language as or Chinese words are pronounced. Actually, the name uh, combines two characters, and when they are combined together for pronunciation, that becomes soku, and therefore it is not the tokuto equal Ishijima, and therefore. Uh, the, that's uh, the position by Korea that uh, it became the territory of theirs in 1900. But in Shimane Prefecture, they have produced a text uh, for Japanese and Korean students to consider Takeshima issues. And I also wrote that as well. But anyway, if I may repeat, it is Sonmok or Kanonjima and not Tokuto. 
Thank you, Professor Shimojo. And now going to the next question. Anyan Bok, how was he treated in Japan of the day? Was he treated in a, a, a good way? And after returning to Korea, uh, how was he treated by the uh, Korean dynasty? Well, if I talk about this, it's going to be very long. And uh, uh, with regards to An Yeonbok incident, at that time, uh, within the uh, dynasty, uh, the administration is starting to uh, retreat. And uh, the, previously, they had the cooperative ties with the Tsushima domain. But in the next administration, vis-a-vis uh, -vis Japan, well, they were critical of the previous administration and vis-a-vis uh, -vis Japan. They were confrontational and uh, An Young Bok came back and uh, he said he on his own uh, solved the problem. So within the, uh, the Choson dynasty, it became a means to criticize the previous administration and uh, the Utsuroto Island uh, issue was used in that way. And within the dynasty, there were two uh, groups. And uh, uh, the fact that An Yang Bok was smuggled himself into Japan, he had to be uh, punished uh, because he violated the law. And uh, coming to Japan, An Yang Bok uh, said that uh, he was uh, defeating uh, Japan. And uh, that, uh, so, uh, so people were having the positive emotional reaction to this. But uh, An Yang Bok should have been given the death penalty, but uh, instead uh, he was exiled. And uh, the reason for that is that vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Tsushima domain, An Yang Bok was uh, very negative and he criticized the Tsushima domain. And uh, with the Utsuro Island issue, uh, there were negotiations with the uh, Korean Peninsula, and from the viewpoint of Korean Peninsula, uh, there was uh, ill feelings to Tsushima domain. And so, uh, saying that the Utsuryo Island is uh, Japanese territory, well, Tsushima domain uh, in between uh, was uh, doing some op operations tacitly, and that's what uh, An Young Bok said. And he said uh, he clarified uh, this uh, uh, crime of uh, the Tsushima domain, and that's why he was not uh, put to death, but rather exiled. So, though recorded as a criminal in the past, and now he's a hero, uh, and uh, just one part, one side, or one aspect of history has been communicated to the uh, uh, later ages. And uh, well, but uh, his, uh, he was not uh, treated well in terms of his social class, but uh, he is uh, highly evaluated as having uh, so-called defeated uh, or uh, gotten the better of Japan. And uh, that's one of the reasons he is treated as a hero in Korea. Thank you very much, Professor Shimojo. We have another question. After hearing a presentation, I came to understand that uh, from Shila to Chosen Kingdom, the people in the Korean Peninsula did not uh, the recognize or realize the presence of Takeshima Island. Do I, is my understanding correct? Well, uh, for people in Korean Peninsula, rather than Japan see uh, the relationship with China or the the uh, the western side of the Korean Peninsula uh, was considered to be more important. Therefore, they actually ignored and uh, the the eastern side, and therefore they would uh, barely recognize the presence of Takeshima Island and near Ududu Island. What is said to be Usan Island? It is said that uh, the north of that belongs to Japan, and therefore uh, during Chosun Kingdom, they did not recognize the presence of Takeshima Island and also shipbuilding technology was extremely poor and therefore they could not uh, go into the uh, distant waters to conduct uh, the fishing around Takeshima Island and therefore they did not uh, realize uh, that Takeshima existed. Thank you, Professor Shimojo. 
Now let's go on to the next question. So uh, in the Xinjiang Dongguk Yeoju Sungnam, uh, uh, in the uh, eight uh, map of eight provinces, the position of Usan Island is in between the Utsuryo Island and the Korean Peninsula. And uh, uh, so I think it is geographically difficult to call uh, that uh, Takashima. Now, I have uh, once uh, done an investigation there and uh, there's a mural and uh, uh, the Usan Island and Utsuryo Island uh, are positioned uh, oppositely and uh, the ge uh, geology or geography at the time was uh, not uh, that uh, strict. So although the position was uh, opposite, uh, Usan is uh, Takeshima and Tokto is what they say. Thank you. We still have some time, so let me move on to the next question. An Yong Hok came to Japan. What is the his motivation or the real cause of his the illegal smuggling himself into Japan? It may be due to the different uh, perception in Japan and Korea, but in Korea, when uh, their position is the, the concluded as illogical, they want to justify that at all costs and therefore whenever historical issues a race between Japan and Korea, they often refer to testim testimonies by various people. And uh, that was uh, true even 300 years ago. And therefore, the mentality may be somewhat different from that of Japanese uh, because when Ang Yong Fuk uh, was uh, brought uh, from uh, Ululu Island to Tsushima, and, and uh, he said uh, there was a big island that he witnessed and that was not uh, the, the accepted and therefore he wanted to justify that and therefore he came to Japan again. So maybe that is different uh, because of different mentality that he came to Japan uh, as a illegal smuggling of himself. Thank you, Professor. Now going on to the next question. So uh, you are saying that there is a flaw in the Korean argument, and uh, what does the North Korea say? Are they saying the same thing? Yes, I think uh, basically they're saying the same thing. Thank you. Next question. In the case of Von Siebold, based upon what he wrote or included Argonaut Island, in uh, his Japan map, is it Usan Island of Hajido So's map? Well, Usan Island in that map is actually Ululu Island, but before him, the it was said that there is the Argonaut Island and also the Dajolet Island and Nagakubo Sekisui issued an entire map of Japan and Ululu Island and Takeshima are included in that map. That is actually Takeshima equal to Ululu Island. And then the Matsushima Island, which is now Takeshima Island. But uh, the U Usan Island in Hachiro Sozu map is originally Ululu Island. And therefore that was not the uh, basis of his uh, map production. Uh, thank you, Professor. Now going on to the next question. An Young Bok uh, said a large, a much larger island than Utsuryo Island. If it's not Takeshima, then which island was it? Even if it's Jukdo or even if it's uh, Takeshima, I would think it would be much smaller than Utsuryo Island. So An Young Bok. Well, the Oya family and its vessel took uh, An Yongbok uh, to Japan and uh, they were nearing Oki Islands. It was near Oki Islands and uh, An Yongbok saw this uh, uh, at the dusk time after dinner, after uh, supper. And so in terms of the distance, he interpreted the Oki Islands as Usan Islands. I think. Thank you very much. We have another question. 
Yim Bok did not negotiate with the Lord of Jotari clan. Certainly, it is unthinkable that the regular fisherman comes to visit uh, the Lord to be engaged in negotiation. But is there any document of Japanese side that refers to uh, the uh, discussion between him and uh, at least uh, the petty officials of Totori clan about Ulidu Island and Takeshima Island? Thank you very much for a very interesting question. I assume this is the last question. In the beginning, um, Yonbok was a slave according to the ID that he had. But when he came to Totori clan, he stated that he was a government official and in fact, high ranking official. So he disguised as the high ranking official. And then the Japanese side thought that was strange, yet uh, the Japanese side dealt with him as such. So in the first uh, the visit, he was uh, the slave, but uh, in the next visit, he dressed better. With a decent dress, he came to Japan stating himself as a government official. So in the first place, he was expelled without uh, any official negotiation. Thank you very much, Professor Shimojo. We still have much to discuss, but unfortunately, our time is up. Professor Shimojo, thank you very much. And with that, we would like to close the webinar on the essence of the Takeshima Island issue and flaws with the Korean arguments about Takeshima, uh, sponsored by uh, Japan Institute of International Affairs. And thank you very much for your participation today.